Hello students, in previous class we have discussed about the process, the structure of the transcriptional unit and basically the transcriptional unit have three area that is your promoter, next is your structural gene and next is your terminator. Since we have discussed on this three type, we are now we are going to go for the detailed process of transcription. Just say that this is your three prime to five prime, and this is your five prime to three prime. So this was the area. Just say tata boxes. Okay. So in this position, okay, the promoter is there, right? So. This is the area from where the from where the transcription process is going to start. But which molecule or which protein is going to recognize this position? Okay? So the first important protein or the factor that comes to an action is sigma factor. So this sigma factor will go and bind to the promoter region. Okay? Will go and bind to the promoter region. This is sigma factor. Once it binds, what will happen? The main enzyme, as we discussed, there are three different types of enzymes, okay? But let's take in a general form, okay? That is RNA polymerase. So this RNA polymerase will go and attach where the sigma factor has binded, okay? So just say that this is your RNA polymerase. Okay. So this RNA polymerase will go and bind to the to an area where the sigma factor is attached. Once the sigma factor comes to an action, then RNA polymerase will come automatically. And next, what will happen? The sigma factor will release. Okay, this is said to be initiation. Okay, initiation. Initiation process. Once the initiation has been done, then there will be another protein called as rho factor. Rho factor. As I said, the two functions of rho factor was in the elongation and the termination. So, to initiate the process, to start the process, the rho factor has to bind to the RNA polymerase. Once it binds, just say that this is our nitrogenous base sequences, okay? And this is a terminator region. Usually, terminator region have GC rich stretches, okay? So, this now the RNA polymerase started moving. Okay, as it start moving, what will happen? This bone will start breaking. The same like the process of replication, where the DNA poly the helicase started moving, then the bone started breaking, and then it formed replication bubble, right? So likewise, as the RNA polymerase start moving, this bone will start breaking. Then what will happen? Let me rewrite the structure here now. So you get it. As, like this type of structure. So this is said to be transcription bubbles, okay? So this RNS polymerase started moving, what will happen? These bones, the bone will start breaking and then it will form a transcriptional bubble. Now, elongation process will take place. So if I have A, T, G, C, A, T, G, C, what will be my mRNA, okay? So if A is there, then what happened? A will give rise to U, T will be A, C will be, G will be, C, C will be, 
G, A will be U, T will be A, G will be C and C will be G. So, you get a sequence, okay. This is your 5 prime. See, since it is 3 prime, so it should be 5 prime and the ending should be 3 prime. So, as the RNS polymerase started moving, which was initiated with the help of rho factor, the mRNA started synthesizing. As it reached to an area called terminator, terminator region, okay. So, usually I say terminator region will have a lot of GC sequences like GC, 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 okay. And once it reached this RNA polymerase, reached to this terminator region, the rho factor will release. This rho factor will be released. And once the rho factor released, the RNA polymerase will leave the strand. And this will happen at the terminator region. So, in this process, the process of transcription get get over and and that is said to be termination okay so this is our just say that this is our mRNA <coughs> sorry this is pre mRNA or in your textbook you will find as trans primary transcript primary transcript. Now this process is happening where? Inside the inside the nucleus. Okay. Inside the nucleus. And this mRNA, mRNA, pre-mRNA or primary transcript this formation is taking place inside the nucleus and if it is for prokaryotes okay if it is for prokaryotes then since in prokaryotes there is no nucleus so it does not need any boundary okay since it doesn't have any boundary so the mrna are they don't go for further modification okay but in eukaryotes okay in eukaryotes In eukaryotes, this primary transcript will undergo modification or processing. Okay, so let me uh, let me discuss, uh, highlight whatever we have discussed. Okay, the first step that involved in the process of transcription is initiation. Okay, sigma factor is very important. Then RNA polymerase will come. Okay, then rho factor will bind. Then elongation will start taking place, and then the process of termination wherever there is a gc stretch region the rna factor rna factor your rho factor okay will leave the rna polymerase and the process will be complete complete then in the nucleus and this mrna will come out to the cytoplasm now after modification okay so in the next video we're going to discuss about the process of modification how in eukaryotes and why that modification is important in the case of eukaryotes okay and what are the different kinds of modification that take place in eukaryotes thank you